general push a and delete everything shift a on the keyboard to bring in uh, the add menu and just bring in the circle so before you actually get rid of this here there's a tab and just bring it make sure it's vertices are 12 or you can put whatever number you like depending on the pc that you're running and now push s on the keyboard and scale it down let's zoom in again so let's go to top view you can push uh, 7 on the keyboard to go to the top view and i'll go under this spanner looking thingy here which is the modifier add a modifier and we'll add an array so this array will look like this so we'll disable this relative offset and just increase the count to something like four and add here where it says object offset just enable this open it and click here so well there's nothing yet uh let's just bring in a curve. let's bring in a new empty let's bring in a new empty arrows and let's see we've got the x y and z so let's say we go back to our circle and add the object so we'll add this empty here and what we'll do is let's go back to the top view seven on the keyboard and switch to edit mode so enable this so if you don't have this menu here just push t on the keyboard and you get that menu just move it offset it from the pivot point a bit and that looks okay so apparently the reason why you're seeing if you're seeing these circles around it simply means we the we have not enabled the transformation so push ctrl a on the keyboard and then where it says all transformations apply and it will apply so everything will disappear let's just move close and let's select these arrows and enable the rotation so hold down control and just rotate 90 degrees so you can actually see the degrees they come here on the left corner so this looks good so we can go back to selecting our circle and let's close this this modifier let's add another modifier which is the screw i don't know if it's, that's how it's pronounced but it seems like that so here what we are going to increase is this value here the screw value just increases increase let's go something like 0 0.8 usually works well or something even lower than that depending on the size of the object you're working with all right so uh this looks good the thing is it looks warped a bit so let's go into edit mode here on top and push the the dot on the number keypad and let's just rotate this go under rotate and let's rotate the red to something like 45 degrees and let's see how that looks that looks amazing good okay close this add another array so here we have this relative and it's enabled so this time we're actually going to use this except turn the x factor to, to zero and then turn the z factor up till it looks like it's meeting uh the the actual object so let's try 0 0.5 no 0 0.3 that looks better then enable the merge so it will merge the two so that it actually keeps going up that's all right so let's close this as well and now select everything so let's go back to object mode select everything push a on the keyboard and push h to hide everything let's bring in add a, me a new mesh which is a cylinder and here 
before we actually continue just come under edit and go under preferences so here search for object <coughs> so make sure this add curve extra object is enabled and cancel this so we'll come here uh, add and then we'll go under curve so you have this extra menu and come under where it says notes so here we are looking for this spiral fit enable this this spiral fit we are going to use it so like just turn back everything on so alternate edge on the keyboard to bring everything back so this looks big enough let's just go to this actual uh, circle and let's add a new modifier which is the curve and let's the curve just where it says object just enable the spiral fit and where it says uh, deform axis which is x just turn it to z and notice we actually have that so let's go back to the uh, previous array and here where it says uh, fixed count let's turn this to curve and then we choose the curve that we have which is the spiral fit and notice it will wrap around uh, the the new cylinder so we can select the cylinder and just reduce the size a bit and enable this side on this menu just enable this scale thingy and just bring it up so it will look like that let's stretch it out i think i went far okay that looks good so depending on how tight you want the rope you can select the rope select this spiral fit here and let's go into edit mode notice there are points here so if you actually go into the right side you can actually select these points so let's enable x-ray so that we can see them okay let me just disable that so that i can actually follow the line itself so select this well i think that is okay let's just go for the second line select these and you can enable this move and just move it down select the ones on top and let's move them down too much and let's keep going so let's move these down all right so at this point we have a, a rope that is actually tight Oops. i think there's a point that i actually missed somewhere here eh, this is confusing it's confusing my eyes i think it's this point if i'm not mistaken yeah all right great so let me select these my bad select these and just move them up so in order for us to actually extend this rope we are in edit mode and these are actually curves so if you select this point and you push e to extend you actually extend this and you can move it in any direction that you want so depending on how you want to move it just push g e first then g and just move it down so i feel like this will be my ground and just turn it like this so the thing is i want this thing to actually fall off this will be like a curve for the ground so i'll just extend one more time and leave it there and for the other part which is this one here i can actually use g and move it let me just come to this side g okay so i'll push e again to extend so i'll just make the rope pass on top of the other one let 
let's just fix this one a bit select this let's continue moving it up here again and just drop it let's keep going and if we come to this angle g again let's move it here extend and let's turn it here e for extend and just turn it again so we have a rope like this so if we go back to object mode we have rope and now we'll need to make uh, a stick out of this like something like a log so let's go into the right view let's just move in edit mode select this part and control b let's just go into edge mode so control b to bevel this part and let's bevel it oops unfortunately i haven't turned on the x-ray so just turn on the x-ray here and select again then control b to bevel so we have that bevel there and notice this menu comes up so this where it says segments just increase the number of segments here so it becomes round and you can select this top part select the move and just move it down a bit right so that looks like we have our stick and let's bring in a plane so let's go into object mode and bring in a plane mesh plane and s to stretch it let's stretch it out so let's go to the to the right side and select the move to so let's just move it down unfortunately i cannot see considering it's not thickened yet so let's turn off the x-ray i think it's not helping right now um all right so notice where our plane is we can actually go in and uh just fix our our rope so that it looks like it was actually going down at that point so select the rope and let's go into edit mode oh my not the rope the spiral my bad so let's go into edit mode select these points and just move them till they look like they were actually interacting with the ground Okay, let's just select some few points here and there. Just move them down. So select this point and just move it up. All right. So this looks good, I think. For me, I'm happy with what I have. So that looks okay. And we'll save this. So let's save it as a rope and save. So it's been saved. And let's go back to object mode. So we actually have this. So select this stick and shed smooth. Right click and shed smooth. So we have a shed, shaded smooth uh, stick. Then the other thing is let's go under edit and select this so we are in edge mode and we have uh, we selected this edge and just push e for extender and let's move down so push z on the keyboard so that we constrain all the movement into the z axis and that looks amazing so we'll go back to object mode and voila so next thing is texturing I think I love the object, the way it looks. That's cool. Alright. 